We are in Pano, Maine with our client John Rodrigue and his tiny house which is looking great. It's all set up and John's nice enough to give us a little interior tour. Yeah. Great, thanks a lot John. Welcome to the Rodrigue. <laughs> Oh, we'll go on in. All right, come on in. We'll start with the living room. This Please. is the great room. Yep. This is uh, um, still a work in progress. Yep. It's great living space. I'm still working on creating a little more space. Going to be getting rid of a few things to make more space. And do a little built-in yeah. love seat yeah. back little, there. Build-in seat, so the love seat's going to come out. And the cedar chest, which I was going to use as a coffee table, is a little too large, so I'm going to get something smaller. Um, but the space works right now for myself and, and my cat Zippy in the window. Hmm. Um, it works out great, so it's uh, just becoming more like home. Awesome, awesome. We'll go. You have a little dining room table right here. Yeah, that's uh, that we kind of um, repurpose my old dining room table and cut it down to fit. And Perfect. Anderson uh, put it in um, where we thought it would fit best. And we and have it this. Works out great. And there's the stairs up to the loft. Yeah. Yep, with all my stuff in. With all the storage, yep. there's the fridge under there, trash recycling, shoes. Yeah, and eventually we'll be putting in the propane fridge. Cool. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the kitchenette has worked out really good. Which we have a 20-inch uh, propane fridge. Yep. Yeah. With the vent, some good counter space. And the four burner stove, and um, stove works out great with uh, with the oven area, and then it has a broiler down below. So it's been working out great. I'm getting used to using propane. Um, I put the shelves in for storage. I, I didn't have Anderson put in shelves in, but until I really knew what I needed, so I, I put those in myself and some on this side. But I use the sink in the kitchenette um, for everything. I don't have one in the bathroom because I, I just didn't really want one in the bathroom. So I use this one for everything. It works out perfect. Great. Yeah. And in the bathroom, what do we have in there? There is a nature's head toilet. Oh, with a light, nature's yeah. head toilet. There is a Tagaki propane on demand. Yeah. And then there's a, open a, a stand shower. up shower. And then this little 32 by 32 shower. Yeah. Perfect. Ooh, the pocket door. We'll close pocket door. Pocket door. Love the pocket door. This I like. Aha. <laughs> cool. There we go. And I'll just going to. a lot of space with that. Yeah. I'll just take two steps up here if you don't mind. No, See right Well, we got some light too. Yep. And a little loft with uh, some closed storage back there and a window. Hey, all right. Yeah, it works out great. There's uh, plenty of good cross ventilation during the nights. When it's a nice cool night, it cross ventilates really well. And um, I found being where I'm located right now, even on warm days, it stays pretty pretty cool. And then TV on the wall. Yeah, that can be viewed from oh nice from down below at you know my sitting area. Or yep. if I want to sit in bed and maybe watch some TV, I can turn it up to the loft, so it works out really great. Um, that was that was a bonus. I, uh, and it's not cable. I don't have cable here. I built my own HD TV antenna, so okay. I have two or three yep. channels. But but it's good enough for the news. So yeah. All right. Well. Yeah, this is great. Well, thanks a lot, John. All right. Yeah. And we'll step on outside.